Yes, every uh, morning I ask you random questions across the board topically. Uh, today, I'm doing different holidays of the winter. Okay. Uh, because between November and January, there are like a couple dozen yeah. winter okay. holidays. Lots right. of people say happy holidays. People say, well, why don't you just say Merry Christmas? Because there's a lot of holidays yeah. in the holiday yeah. season. Okay, so here we go. First slice of toast. Ancient people would light candles and bonfires for this holiday. Which holiday are we talking about? Are we talking about Diwali, New Year's Day, or winter solstice? Ancient people lighting candles and bonfires for this holiday. I'm going to just oh. take a guess and say A. Yeah, me too. Okay, I got two Diwali. Winter yeah. solstice? I mean, you, like, would light, you would light a candle for, like, candles. They're not for... bonfire. I'm going to go, mm. yeah, I'll say it. You're going to go with Diwali? Diwali. It's actually winter solstice. Oh. Yes. And they would light the bonfires and the candles because uh, this is basically, you know, the shortest day of the year. Yeah. Uh -huh. First day of winter. Because they're trying to beckon the sun to come back. Oh, These are so it's more of a ritual. People. Yeah, it was ritualistic. It's a pagan ah, ritualistic holiday. Ah, mm -hmm. got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Second slice of toast. This holiday literally means first fruits. Which of these holidays means first fruits? Is it Ramadan, Diwali, Diwali <laughs> or Kwanzaa? <laughs> stick with that because that's the only one that we We'll say it'll be Diwali. <laughs> You're sticking with it. It's like Diwali, don't yeah. you? It ain't though. <laughs> what is the it's Kwanzaa. <laughs> yes. I know. We're thinking about Kwanzaa last year. Yes. The Swahili term for first fruits, Kwanzaa, when you give uh, the uh, Guzo Saba, the seven first fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Diwali, interesting, it's usually like October, November. That's the Hindu I knew holiday of lights. Yes. Okay. Oh, and yes. then Ramadan moves. Uh. It moves every 11 uh. days. It moves 11 days every year. So it moves all over the year. So uh. coincidentally, in 2030, the next time Ramadan will be in the winter, mm -hmm. it's going to happen twice. Oh. January 6th of that year, and then December 26th oh. of that same year. Wow. Ramadan's going to happen in 2030. Okay. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So we'll have to remember all of this for the next yeah. year.